Hi everyone. So my name is Saurav. I am a curriculum engineer at Masai. So today we are going to learn about HTML. Now HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language. So first of all, before we go in deep dive into HTML, how we use it, let us first understand what is HTML and what is the reason we learn it basically. So before we go into HTML, we have to understand that what are the three main components of a web page. Okay. So whenever you visit any website, it consists of three main parts. First one is HTML. It is actually the structure of our web page. The second one is CSS. The CSS allows us to make our website more beautiful. Like if you visit any beautiful website, like it has many colors, many animations, all of those things, those are built by CSS. And then we come into JavaScript. JavaScript is the actual brain of our website. Let's say when you click on a button, something should happen. Let's say some animation should play up. So all of those things are done by our JavaScript part. So HTML was invented by the team Bernoulli in 1991. So Tim Bernoulli was a actual a researcher as a big university. Okay. So uh, when he published a new research paper, what he had to do was he wanted to share it with his peers, his uh, let's say university teachers, all of them. Uh, he had 100 friends. So he had to send emails to each and every one of them, which is if you think about it, not so feasible, right? So that's when the creating of a website came to his mind that he would create a website and he would upload his research papers to there and everyone whoever is visiting a website can see his research papers so that's the reason the first website was created so guys let us start with creating a new html file and let's see how to create a basic html file and how to like uh, create a basic website okay so let us drive into our code so today we are going to use vs code which is a very popular code editor so it is free and open source so anybody can download it from the internet you can quickly type it in the google and you will easily get it okay guys so let us start so i will quickly create a html file for that uh, i will click on this button and i have to type index.html okay so guys the name can be anything okay but the extension should be .html that is the only thing we have to take care of okay so let us quickly create that and whatever we write in this file it will be visible in our website so let's say i write i am from Masai, and if i save it now guys if you see right now whatever i am writing something but uh, how should i see it in the browser for that what we will do is we'll go here we will click on the file the file we created we will uh, right click on it and if you see here we have an option called as copy relative path or copy path okay you can click on this option it has been copied and what we will do we will paste it here okay so what we have to do guys again copy it copy on the copy path and then paste it inside the browser and if we do that you will see that whatever text i have written inside my html file is actually visible here so that is how an HTML file generally works. Now, if we visit any normal website, so let's say something like uh, maybe Amazon, if you see right now, does it only contains text? The answer is no, right? It comes in many other things like let's say images and this bolded text and all of those things. Let's say a search bar, so how should we create those things? So for that, in HTML, we have something known as tags. Let us how to see how to do that. Before we deep a bit dive into how tags work, we have to understand the tree structure of HTML. So, guys, if everyone remembers, uh, whatever we have seen in our HTML file is actually visible in our browser. But does our website only contains, let's say, only text? That's not the case, right? We have in our in a particular website, in a beautiful, well-functional website, we have many things like let's say bolded text, let's say buttons, let's say input tags, images, many more things, right? So for that, we have to understand a certain topic called as tags. So HTML has a first tag is called as HTML only. So the first tag that we have to learn is called HTML. So how, how should we do it? So tags are written uh, greater than sign, then HTML. Okay, then closing and if you see right now 
our VS code automatically will auto complete it for us. Okay. When we create one tag, it will give me another tag as well. Okay. So this is how we write a general HTML tag. Now the first tag is actually called the opening tag. The second tag is called a closing tag. Okay. Now what we will do inside HTML tag, we have two more tags. One is called as head. The other is called as body. So first create the head. Okay. And then we have the, let's say the body. Okay. Now, whatever our HTML page actually contains, always is going to be inside the body. Okay. Let's say we have a text, we have a, let's say an image, everything is going to be inside the body. The first actual tag that we are going to learn today is going to be something known as H1 tag. So we'll type H1 and that's it. Okay. Our um, VS code will automatically do everything for us. So we'll type H1 and press enter. And if you see right, it has already created the tags for us. Okay. Now let's see, I will type the same text here. Let's say I am from a side okay and i will paste the same text but without any h1 tag let us see what happens so i will paste the same thing and guys you won't see anything any changes here okay what we actually have to do is we have to reload the browser again so we will reload the browser if you see and i think everyone can already see the difference right but this text is from without any tag and the second text is from the h1 tag if you you can already see the difference right this is like a plain text with this one has more like font to weight it is called and it's more bold and the uh, the size of the text is also bigger right so this is the beauty of our html tags they automatically gives us some basic styling to our text and all of those things okay now just like we have h1 we have h2 as well h3 as well okay so this series goes from h1 till h6 okay so guys let us write something like let's say h3 and let's say i'm writing i am from masai 3 let's say okay and i will reload the page again please don't uh, forget to do that so if you see right now guys our h1 tag is much more bigger compared to our h3 tag right what is the reason behind that the reason is as the number of h1 tags decreases the font size or the text size also decreases and the how much bold they are that also decreases okay so our h1 is done our h3 is done now we'll go into h6 so i will write i am masai 6 let us say i will reload again if you see the last text is very small right so you will typically only use till from h1 till around h4 uh, others are very small so we hardly use them but yeah that's there okay now guys we will try to use some tags which are actually not uh, possible some basically wrong tags so i already told you that uh, heading tags exist from h1 till h6 let's see what happens when we write something like h7 tag so i will write h7 if you see right now my vs code does not give me suggestion because there is not actual tag there okay so we have to actually hard code it so let's say h7 like this and let's say i am psi let's say 7 save it and reload the browser you will see that my h7 is actually bigger than my h6 okay now guys so one thing you have to please notice it here that my the font size the text size basically and the size of my tag by text without any tag is actually same the last text see it and the first text see it both of them are pretty much same right their bold is same their font size is same everything is same right so what happens when you put a wrong tag in html so puts it like you haven't put any tag okay so that is what happens when we do it wrong way okay one small request from my side please please never use these wrong tags okay this is not at all a good practice okay 
प्लीज रिमेंबर नेवर यूज दीज काइंड ऑफ एच सेवन टैग्स और लेट से यानी रैंडम टैग ए बी सी डी टैग और थिंग्स लाइक दैट प्लीज नेवर यूज दैम ओके ना गाइस आई विल क्विकली रिमूव इट एंड यू विल आस्क मी नाउ दैट हे सॉर ऑफ यू हैव क्रिएटेड एच सिक्स टैग बट लेट से आई वॉन्ट दिस डिफॉल्ट थिंग ओके शुड आई जस्ट यूज लाइक इन द बॉडी इट सेल्फ आंसर इज नो दैट्स नॉट ऑल्सो गुड प्रैक्टिस वाई दैट इज नॉट अ गुड प्रैक्टिस विल अंडरस्टैंड इट अवर नेक्स्ट क्लास बट फॉर नाउ लेट एस डू दिस I will tell you about one more tag that takes care of this default text size. Okay, so for that we will have a tag called as a P tag. P stands for paragraphs. So let us quickly create that. So we have a P tag, and let's say I am from para, and I will save it. And let's say I reload this. So if you see right now, guys, this text and para is actually by the default size. Okay, it does not apply any kind of bolding or font size or anything like that. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in the text part. Okay, now let us do something a bit more interesting that I talked about, like let's say images or buttons. Okay, so our first thing is going to be image. So if you guys have till now paying attention here. If you see, we have actually two tags. Whenever I want any specify any specific tag, we have an opening tag and we have a closing tag, right? Now we will understand about something known as self closing tag. Okay, image is something known as a self closing tag. What does it mean? So it just has only a opening tag, no closing tag. Okay, we will use a new tag called as image. For image, it stand. Uh, we in short in HTML, the tag name is IMG. Okay, so I will write image. If you see, it actually does not have a closing tag. Okay, so this kind of tags are called a self closing tag. Okay, so now guys, what I will do? I will save this file. And uh, how many of you think that if I reload this page, I should be able to see an image? Just pause a bit and think about it. The answer is absolutely not. We won't be able to see an image. Okay, so if you see, I will reload, and no image is there. The reason is, guys, HTML does not actually care about images and all. Okay, it does not know which image to actually show in the page. Okay, we have to explicitly tell it that okay, this particular image show it. Okay, so we have to give it name or a particular path. Okay, so if I try uh, to uh, slash here. You will see all of these images are here in my computer. Okay, I will press enter for this img dot png, and let's say I press enter. If you see right now, I have all the screenshots here, and we have this img dot png. Okay, this is in this my folder itself. That is the reason we are able to see it. Okay, okay. So guys, if I reload this page, you will see we can actually see the image. Okay, guys, I will make it full screen. and you should you will be able to see this image okay guys so that is how you integrate an image in your website okay one very important aspect come here okay that is have you guys have ever worked with something like google docs or things like that you will remember that there is something known as hyperlinking right when we click on a link it opens up a new website okay so this is a very important concept in html okay what happens is A HTML page actually means a new HTML, new website. You can say a new page means a new website. Okay, so now how you connect two websites? Okay, that is something known by another specific tag called as an anchor tag. Okay, it's like an anchor, or we have heard about anchors, right? That connects a ship to a beach or a shore. We can say seashore kind of thing. So that is the thing. We have anchor tags for that. Okay, it connects to one HTML page with Another HTML. So let us quickly dive into that. So the short form is a tag. Okay. So I will write a and press enter. It will automatically create the thing for us. Okay. Now let's say I type here. Let's say Masai and I press. I save it and reload it. Now guys, I will uh, comment out this uh, image tag from here so that we are able to see it more clearly. HTML we comment. It's even comment is a bit harder to be honest, but VS Code actually makes it very simple for us. Okay, so in your keyboard, command and then backward slash. Okay, if you do this, it will automatically comment out the line for us. Okay, and I will save it. Reload this page. You should be able to see this text in a bit uh, 
or should I say a linkish manner, right? In a different color and some underline is also there, okay? So this is something known as a link. So this is something automatically done by my anchor tag. Now, how many of you now think that if I click on this, a new page should show? Pause a bit again and tell me. Answer is again no. We have to explicitly tell this anchor tag which particular link to open, okay? So let's say we go into something like, let's say, maybe Amazon and I will copy this link from Amazon. If you see at the top, we have this URL. I will control C, basically copy it. And what I will do, I will paste it inside this href. Okay. I will paste it inside it and I will save it. Now guys, let us see what happens. I will reload this. If you click on it, can everyone see? Automatically Amazon's web page opens up. Okay. So what we have to do, we have to copy any website's URL. Okay. Then we have to paste it where? Inside our href. Okay guys. If you are interested in learning web development or you want to create beautiful, very fully functional websites, this is going to be a stepping stone and this is the very basic part of our HTML, which is the most structural part or the most basic part of a web page. Thank you so much guys for joining. Bye and happy learning.